hello welcome back to my channel i'm your girl sincerely kso if it is your first time to my channel welcome if you're a returning subscriber welcome back my darlings we've got a request of reaction and this was requested by a moderator of this channel celine hi honey how are you you wanted me to watch pride and prejudice from 2005 um first time watching and if this is your first time to my channel please subscribe if you have any film reaction requests consider becoming a patron to this channel the details are in the link below Hello, head over there and you can tell me what your film request is. The highest tiers get to make one film reaction request every month. The other tiers get to participate in the polls that we have monthly as well. So I look forward to seeing you guys over there. If you're subscribed to my music channel, you're a honey. If you're subscribed to my film reaction channel, you're a darling. Thank you so much. All right, let's watch Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> Once! Good heavens. <laughs> People. <laughs> they are these children. I have the highest respect for them. They've been my constant companions these 20 years. He's sure to be handsome. With 5,000 a year, it would not matter if he had warts. And so will he come to the ball tomorrow, Papa? I believe so. Okay, let's pause here because I'm I'm so excited. So we what we see is a man, his 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 Mr. Bennett, Mrs. Bennett, and Mrs. Bennett was telling him something about someone who has taken over a park somewhere. I'm guessing that's like a home or she gave it a name, but I didn't catch that. And you can see the daughters are excited because apparently the person who got that home is single, worth 5,000 pounds. I heard them say Mr. Bingley, and the daughters are going crazy. So the mother has, isn't helping matters. She seems overtly excited. But I'm thinking of the times, and I guess it's only because she has so many daughters. I, I didn't count. I think I saw like five i think i saw five because there was one walking in the park where in the, with the book there was one at the bottom of the stairs when two people came down and then there was one playing the piano so that's five do i know their names no i heard someone say liddy or lydia or something i'm not sure so i'm, I'm not going to write that down so i think that because she has many daughters and i'm thinking like i said the times you know where you you want to marry them off the mother is so overtly excited so is the the father is hosting something because the daughters were asking is, she, is that mr bingley coming and they're all excited to see so far i just love the intro i love the music the piano playing they caught me at that morning bird sound because when i used to visit my grandmother and spend time with her that would be the, the that bird wakes us up in the morning you'll hear it it's so distinct and beautiful not too loud not too strong just perfect and i love the mist the morning mist the smell of dew coming listen i i love my meadows and greenery and rain those are my favorite things to be honest that is the favorite atmosphere for me i would thrive in an environment like this i'm telling you no noise just beautiful 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 call me a hobbit <laughs> all right let's get back to it play Ten thousand a year, and he earns half of them. Ten thousand. How do they know these things? Oh, oh! Did he look at her? Did he, did he do a double take? I'm delighted to make your acquaintance. And may oh, I introduce nice. Mr. Darcy? Mr. Darcy doesn't smile. He's just like. Oh, 
dancing with Mr. Bingley. Oh, Jane. Her name is Jane. <laughs> he likes her. Oh my God, stop. Can you dance, Mr. Darcy? Not if I can help it. Oh my God, that's embarrassing. Oh my God. Is that not if I can help it? Which I have ever beheld. Oh. But her sister Elizabeth is very agreeable. Elizabeth. You're not handsome enough to tempt me. Mama, oh, Mama, she was only 15 and was a gentleman so much. I wonder who first discovered the power of poetry in driving away love. <laughs> I thought the poetry was the food of love. To kill it stone dead. So what do you recommend to encourage affection? Dancing. His partner is barely tolerable. Oh, that was good. That was good, Lizzie. Go, girl. Girl, good one. Anyway, she they they now happen to have a conversation. The mother is talking. I don't know who she said is someone Lucas isn't very favorable, not very pretty. And that her daughter Jane is this, that even at 15, men were coming for, I think that, that's what she was saying. Men were already coming for her, you know. So the, obviously Jane is embarrassed. Lizzie ch quickly changed the conversation to poetry, something about love, you know. Yeah, something about love. Then then Darcy said, what would you what would you suggest, right? What, what ideas do you have to encourage affection between two people? And she said dancing, that which is the the thing she started out asking him in the beginning. That's something simple, dancing. And she threw it back to him and said, even if something is not favorable, threw it back because she used the words he used to describe her. So she wanted him to know that he she had heard what he said about her, and she did it so subtly and without any anger and angst and you know I was like you said this about me she just said it smiled turned away and just walked out leaving him to deal with the emotions of the, whatever he felt knowing that i heard what you said about me but it's still kindness is still courtesy is still you know i it was that this just sealed it for me and i just like her for doing that because a lot of times I can only imagine how she must have felt because she was under the stairs with her friend. And to have someone describe your appearance, and obviously she's not saying, she knows her sister is very beautiful. Remember she was telling her sister that I'm sure all the men in this place will want you, want you by the end of the, the barn dance or something. She loves her sister and I don't see, I don't sense any jealousy between both, but she she's not she acknowledged she might she, she probably knows okay i'm not the prettiest girl here but it's not enough to it must have been painful nobody ever wants to hear when men discuss them and they're like no nah, that one isn't very she's subpar so that already puts place darcy he comes off as an arrogant person there was a glimmer of I don't know if he's feeling remorseful because he was trying to participate in the conversation in that little circle by even asking a question. I thought he wouldn't want to talk with her, but I'm seeing that he's maybe he was pretending because he, he probably didn't want to tell Bingley. Because if you if you don't like someone and attractive, why was why was he having that conversation? All good here. Handsome, conveniently rich. You know perfectly well I do not believe my I driven by money. I can more easily forgive his vanity had he not wounded mine. Oh. But no matter, I doubt we shall ever speak again. The fourth was a Miss King of little standing, and the fifth 
again with Jane. Mm. And anyone would think our dolls look forward to a grand inheritance. When you die, Mr. Oh. Lee, which may in fact be very soon. Oh. Feel toward. To Miss Benny. Praise the Lord. We are saved. We are saved from. Certainly not. Oh. She'll go on horseback. In the rain on horseback. What's wrong with the mother? Good grief, woman. Your skills in the art of matchmaking are possible. Oh, that's why she sent her daughter without the carriage. Oh. Oh, so the girl. Returning home until I am better. Do not be alarmed, except in a sore throat, a fever, and a headache. There is nothing much wrong with me. Oh. Go, mommy. <laughs> Mom sent her there. On her, without a carriage, so she could be wet, and by the time she got there, she would have to. First is redecorating her ballroom in the French style. Oh. Oh. I'm so sorry. How is my sister? She's upstairs. Oh. Oh. My goodness, did you see her hem? Six inches deep in mud. She looked positively medieval. Uh, he didn't see anything beneath her face, honey. Oh, Mr. Bingley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bingley. Oh. Thank you for tending to my sister so diligently. She is in far better comfort here than she would have been at home. It's a pleasure. Oh, my, oh my God, girls. That's too desperate. Take it easy. Like, don't be so overtly excited. <laughs> this mother is something else. Stop and she threw her hand. Oh my gosh, she threw her handkerchief. They stomped on it. Oh my goodness. You write uncommonly fast, Mr. Darcy. I never heard of a young lady, but people say she is accomplished. I cannot boast of knowing more than half a dozen women in all my acquaintance that are truly accomplished. Nor I. It would certainly be a fearsome thing to behold. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Will you not join us, Mr. Darcy? You can only have two motives, Caroline, and I would interfere with either. Caroline. If the first, I should get in your way. If the second, I can admire you much better from here. Oh! Maybe it's that I find it hard to forgive the follies and vices of others or their offences against me. My oh. good opinion, once lost, is lost forever. What a shame, for I dearly love to laugh. A family trait, I think. A family trait? That is so rude. What is wrong with laughing? But the way she said it's so condescending, like, oh, that you people laugh too much. What is wrong with that? Does she like Darcy? Like, does Lizzie like him? A Mrs. Bennet, a Miss Bennet, a Miss Bennet, and a Miss Bennet, sir. Oh, oh for my heaven's goodness. sake, are we to receive every Bennet in the country? What an excellent room you have, sir. Such expensive furnishings. <laughs> when your sister is recovered, you shall name the day. <gasps> oh. I think a ball is a perfectly irrational way to gain new acquaintance. Mr. Darcy? Miss Elizabeth? Oh. <laughs> Where is my pen? Just give me a moment. <laughs> you guys don't get it. He touched her. Oh my god. I'm I need my fan. What? I need my fan. Listen, you guys. I am so hot from the tension. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, now we're getting somewhere. Apparently, Mr. Darcy likes her. He does. You can't tell me he touched her. Oh my god, I'm so hot from excitement, you guys. Don't don't tease me. Oh my god. <laughs> He touched her hand. Woohoo! 
Oh my God, that is, he helped her up her carriage. So one day he was, he wasn't really paying attention. She's not as handsome as uh, 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 uh. Now he's, he's touching her hand. The girl who isn't as handsome. Stop, stop, Mr. Doll say. <laughs> I had to get the giggles out. Oh my God, this is so, and do you notice when she walked into the room when he was in the study, not the study, the, whether your lunchroom or whatever room that, that is called at that time, he just got up and then he like straightening himself like, oh. I have reason to expect an addition to our family party. Because the estate passes directly to him and not to us poor females. Oh. oh, that's a terrible law. Mr. Collins at your service. Many years since I've had such an exemplary vegetable. To which <laughs> I've often observed to Lady Catherine that her daughter seemed born to be a duchess. Do these pleasing attentions proceed from the impulse of the moment, or are they the result of previous study? Oh my gosh. And though I do sometimes amuse myself with arranging such little elegant compliments, <laughs> I always wish to give them as unstudied an air. Mrs. Bennet, you do know that I have been bestowed by the good grace of Lady Catherine de Bourgh, a parsonage of no mean size. I have to inform you that the eldest Miss No, Bennett no, 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 that's Mr. Bingley's girl. No. Unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately. And that the eldest Miss Bennet is very soon. Yes, yes. But that's a lie, but lie it. They want an excellent part. What? Do not you agree, Mr. Collins? Elizabeth. Indeed. No way. No. Stop it. She took. He had his eye on um Jane, but the mother shut it down very quickly. She was like, no, 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 no. Don't spoil my daughter's chances with Bingley because she likes Bingley, right? Mr. Collins, the sort of man who makes you despair of the entire sex. Yours, I believe. I can't be trusted. I have very poor taste in ribbons. Only a man truly confident of himself would admit to that. No, it's true. What do your superiors do with you? <laughs> Allow me to oblige. Oh, no, Mr. Wickham, please. I was just on my way to your house. Mr. Bingley, how do you like my ribbons for your ball? It was a credit to his profession. Lydia, you can't invite oh. them to other people's balls. Hey. Oh, what was that? What, what, what was that that just happened? Oh, Darcy's upset that she's with the guy. Well, I hope that your plans in favor of Meryton will not be affected by your relations with the gentleman? Oh no, it is not for me to be driven away. My father managed his estate. Mm. We grew up together, Darcy and I. Mm. His father bequeathed me the rectory in his estate. But Darcy ignored his wishes and gave the living to another man. But why? Jealousy. On the contrary, Wickham is twice the man Darcy is. I have heard your part of the more willing to answer. Why is he twice the man with him? Just now that you met with him. I don't know. I just... Yes, Darcy. Darcy is a snob, but he doesn't seem wicked. You know what I mean? So they should have that conversation. Before ruling the whole situation out that he's bad like i don't I, you have to have that conversation how can you just listen to one side and then rule Dar darcy out after darcy has held our hand we have to give da darcy the benefit of the doubt you know what i mean but wickham is very handsome yes pleasure it is to see you again mr bingley Mrs. Bennett. miss bingley charming and how are you? Miss Elizabeth, are you? Good. Look at the sister, the sister of Mr. Bingley's sister, what's her name? Caroline, she pushed Bingley, she was like, and she sighed loudly, as if to say, move along. I don't like that girl. She's... 
always doing what's best for her family. Dancing. Oh, oh. dancing? Yes, I, I did not think you danced, Mr. Collins. Lightness of foot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for him. He's, he seems like a nice man. What is his? Why is he so serious? <laughs> why is he so serious? Apparently, your Mr. Wickham has been called on some business to town. If I may be so bold, to remain close to you throughout the evening. No. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Stop, please. She doesn't want to be close to you. Oh my God, Darcy, honey. May I have the next dance, Miss Elizabeth? You may. You may? Did she say you may? Did she say you may? <laughs> Did I just go to dance with Mr. Dawson? Yes. I dare say you will find me. silent. In fact, when you met us, we just had the pleasure of forming a new acquaintance. Okay. I hope to afford you more clarity in the future. Oh. Oh, I hope to afford you more clarity. Oh, everyone in the room has disappeared. I hope to afford you more clarity in the future. That means, he says, I want you to get to know me much better. Girl, what are you offended about? She's confused. She's confused. You know, she's puzzled. She doesn't know whether to believe. Ask your penalty in Dutch. I believe so. I must make myself known to him immediately. So at least Bingley has not noticed. No. I think he likes her very much. But does she like him? Lucas, the one who was under the stairs with um lizzie at the beginning she's telling lizzie about mr bingley liking her sister and how her sister is still not overtly showing her affections for mr bingley that she, the sister better hurry up and snatch him up because sandy not being overtly because to everyone he, it's already obvious that bingley likes you know jane but on the other hand, when you see Jane, you can't tell that she obviously likes. Like we know she likes him because of we've seen how she behaved under the pit, under the covers with her sister and how she was talking. You can tell she likes him, and we've seen how how she what how she speaks about him to her family members. But when she's in public, she isn't doing overtly smiling, trying to. You can see he was touching the hem of her her dress. The the like what in the world was that? Um. Why? Why can't he be serious? This sister, don't spoil it for, for Jane, please. Don't discourage I was hoping if it would not trouble you that I might solicit a private audience with Miss Elizabeth in the course of the morning. No! No, wait, please, I beg you, Mr. Collins can have nothing to say to me that anybody need not hear. No nonsense, Lizzie. I desire you to say who you are, everyone else. So the sister is laughing. So he said, Papa, stay. Oh, honey. <laughs> Father, but Daddy, please, don't leave. Oh, my God. Get up and run away. Get, just don't sit. Oh, my God. Oh. Me to no. assure you in the most animated language of the violence of my affection. Of the violence of my affection. <laughs> yes, girl. No. That strong, foolish child. She's dead. Your mother will never see you again if you do not marry Mr. Collins. Mm. And I will never see you again if you do. Very good. Jane. Oh, they're leaving their estate. Oh. Mr. Darcy is impatient to see his sister and we are scarcely less eager to meet her again. 
far more likely that he does not love me and never has. He loves you, Jane. Do not give up. Mm. Give my love to my sister oh, and try not to be a burden, dear. These two girls are something else. I've come here to tell you the news. Mr. Collins and I are engaged. To be married? Yes, of course, Lizzie. What other kind of engaged is there? So don't judge me, Lizzie. Don't you dare judge me. So did you come here to be angry or you came here to have a conversation with your friend that you married the man she turned down? She's not judging you. You're judging yourself. You're judging yourself. You're upset with your situation. You're, you know, don't come here, scream at me and walk off. You could have kept that information to yourself. Don't judge me. Who's judging you? You just came here to tell me. And I'm sure they probably have discussed this. She, she, you see, she, all that time she was looking at him in the party. I told you I saw her looking at him funny. You know? This isn't judging you. You both have had this laughs under stairs and stuff like that. You have. You've made fun and jest of stuff. So why would you... I don't know. I'm not against her. Yes, she feels she's getting older. She wants to get married. Her age, the times. She's just being honest to herself. But yeah. that Lady Catherine's behavior is friendly and obliging. Oh, Lizzie, it's such a pleasure to run my own home. Charlotte, come here. Yes. Lady Catherine's never been averse to the truly humble. To the truly humble. So you are Elizabeth Bennet? I am, your ladyship. Is that Darcy or my Mr. Darcy? What are you doing here? I trust your family is in good health, Miss Elizabeth. I didn't know what you could do. They are, thank you. Your mother should have taken you to town every spring for the benefit of the masters. I'm sure my mother wouldn't have minded, but my father hates town. Your younger sisters, are they out in society? Yes, ma'am, all. All? On my word, you give your opinion very decidedly for so young a person. Lady Catherine, I'm not afflicted with false modesty. When I say I play poorly, I... Come, come, Lizzie. Oh, but she says she can't play. Are you trying to embarrass her? She already said she can't play or that she doesn't want to. Why are you making her do it? You want to embarrass her before... Darcy, could you put your... <laughs> take your hands off your waist? <laughs> That standing position. And Mr. Fitzwilliams, you should adjust your pants. I cannot alarm you, even should I wish it. What was my friend like in Hertfordshire? I do not have the talent of conversing easily with people I have never met before. Perhaps you should take your aunt's advice and practice. Practice with me, that's what she's saying. Practice with me. Stop. Take your aunt's advice and practice. Come talk. Oh my gosh. Mr. Darcy. Is he nervous? What's going on? What happened? Does he want to propose? Good day, Miss Elizabeth. It's been a pleasure. Must have some counselor to whom it may what apply for happened? consolation in, in view those objects which are only to be obtained through intercourse. Intercourse? Patience, the proud man steps forth <laughs> to meet you not with the cordiality of affection. <laughs> what happened? Uh, he saved the man from an imprudent marriage. Who was the man? <coughs> His closest friend, Charles Bingley. So he separated. I believe so. I know nothing else. Oh, her sister. Are you serious? Darcy was the one who... Oh. Oh, my God. Why did he do that? Who's that? What's that with Darcy? Oh. Inferiority of your birth, my rank and circumstance, all these things, and I'm willing to put them aside and ask you to end my agony. I don't understand. I love you. Oh! Uh, you just 
said the inferiority of her birth. That was rude. No, I... No. Are you rejecting me? I'm sure that the feelings yes. which, as you told me, have hindered your regard will help that you separated a young couple who loved each other, exposing your friend to the centre of the world. Different. I watched them most carefully and realised his attachment was deeper than hers. That's because she's shy. No. Bingley, too, is modest and was persuaded. She... It was made perfectly clear that an advantageous marriage... Did my sister give that impression? No, no. Three younger sisters, even on the case of your father. Oh, that is rude. Ooh. Ooh. Made me realize that you were the last man in the world I could ever be prevailed upon to marry. Oh, are you going to kiss? Forgive me. Oh, my God. Madam, for taking up so much of your time. Pause. I need an emotional break. Fighting on the rain is such. Listen, I know they're having an argument, but all I can see is love making me laugh. Like. Once it's raining, I can't help myself. Just take me. Absolutely. I, I don't know what to say. This is just a case of he, he said, she said, there's a huge misunderstanding here. Um, her anger is just, it reminds me of Romeo and Juliet and how, you know, the, the Cupid was just missing, right? The, they obviously loved each other, but the information going back towards her death. Anyway, in this part, we can see that what is angering Lizzie is that obviously she she's she was cordial with Darcy, right? She didn't hate him, she didn't wasn't in love with him, but you could see that there was like this flirting like intolerance between them. What broke it off was that information that uh, Fitzwilliams gave her and, and telling her that he was the reason that Bingley broke off the relation, the, you know, the friendship, the budding friendship and love between Bingley and sister, her sister Jane. He did so because he had observed them on several occasions at the ball, at the bar and dance thing that they had and at the ball that Bingley hosted. And both ways he felt, remember what that their friend was saying, I think Miss Lucas, the one was telling Lizzie that your sister isn't really showing any affection towards, if she from the outside can saw it like that, you can imagine what Darcy saw. This scene of Darcy proclaiming love for Lizzie caught me by surprise. I noticed he was nervous when he came in and didn't say anything. And I was like, oh, is it? But I think that he was really, like he said, I love you. Like it just came out like, I love you. And it is so romantic, so beautiful. You know, it's just wrong timing. The weather was right. The Oh my goodness, he looks amazing. She looks beautiful. I was just expecting them to just kiss and get it over and done with. But the argument ensued. In trying to defend each other's honor, they were saying things that cut to the bone. Darcy addressed the he said the propriety of her young. You know, I noticed the sisters were are all over the place. Those two girls, especially the other one who was speaking up and says it's a strange way to have Mary. Mary, I didn't. I don't think Mary misbehaved, but the mother was drunk at that party. Remember, she had a hangover. That's why she was doing that egg and milk thing, telling the daughter to stop playing the piano. She was eating. She even splashed someone with her food. I remember uh, the thing in the cup. I don't know what it was. Maybe grapes or whatever she was taking. She was twirling, you know, certain things. People are watching you. If you want your daughter to be married into that family, you go there and put on your best behavior. You're not just talking and talking. And remember even the original bond, the way she dragged her two daughters and said, I have someone this, I have someone that. Just talking and she was just talking so much. So Darcy obviously has seen that how courteous Jane is and how well behaved this one is and trying not to be rude to him even with the insult after hearing what he said she, he said when she was under the staircase um uh, I just feel so bad because I think that they might truly love each other but this, these words are fighting words and I don't know how she and she loves Lizzie loves her dad he insulted her dad and I just feel so bad. You know, she also insulted him as well. Like, you know, you're arrogant, you're this, you think you're better than, you know, I, when um, Catherine, Lady Catherine the Bird, sorry, it's in my note, was talking to Lizzie and saying things about, oh, you had no chaperone, you had no governess or something. You had, how did you learn to do this? Can you paint? Can you do that? 
he was she, what I felt she was doing was pointing out her flaws as opposed to and I think asking her to play the piano was so as to embarrass her before Darcy I don't know why because obviously her daughter can't marry her daughter she said her daughter is ill right so I don't know what sort of illness and th that is her nephew maybe she was hoping that Darcy might marry her daughter so she she was trying to paint uh, Lizzie in a bad light making her seem like unsuitable with no affluent culture with, with you know with less to offer Darcy so he could he should look away for that by highlighting you know if someone comes to the party and your your hair looks this your hair looks that it's sort of to make take away from your beauty but I think that Darcy just he doesn't care about her heritage and things like that when he mentioned is that um, the the something of your birth I felt like my goodness you're trying to court a woman why would you say something to her like I love you and then in the same breath you're talking about the her lack of nobility it doesn't it I don't think he was really thinking it through maybe it was, he was so nervous he didn't analyze what he was what what how he wanted to approach the situation you know you can't tell I understand he's he knows he's very wealthy and that she's not really she's not rich she's not from a wealthy home but when you're proposing to a woman you what you should tell her is Oh, I love you, period, and be my wife. Don't okay, I love you in spite of the fact that you grew up in the slums. What in the world does that have to do with you, with me? Am I a good person? Tell, you know, even tell her that you shine through, and, and regardless of the difficulties, your impeccable sincerity, your manners, and you're sincere, and you, you know, highlight her positive attributes. Mentioning that thing about her birth just took me by surprise because I, I didn't expect him to say that to her when in, in, in read the proposal and her response to him was saying okay am I supposed to feel is this supposed to be an honor am I supposed to be like oh my god Darcy is proposing to me oh I should what kind of arrangement but I don't know why he said that that just that, that was would have been a put off for me, even I, I acknowledge yes, you're a prince and you're coming with wealth. Yes, great, beautiful. But the fact that I was born with without wealth does not make me less. You know, money does help, but when you're proposing to a woman and telling her that you love, don't tell her that, you know, I love you in spite of your ugly face. <laughs> you don't say that. Oh, but it was such a beautiful, he, he, the way the words just came out so, it's so, it's so romantic to me. I can't lie. It's, it's very romantic. I find myself actually feeling like I would love to be courted like that. That is just an amazing, I love letters. I love reading. I love the weather. I love the sky, the trees, the smell. I listening to the rain fall during their conversation was actually honestly an arousal for me as opposed to because my emotions were all over the place. I was angry, I was intrigued, I was falling in love for her, I was excited, I was embarrassed. I'm actually flustered, I'm really hot, but because the this is just the perfect scene. But words are not, they're both heated individuals and they're both proud. I think over the course, she has, Lizzie has let down her guard a little bit to, to, towards him. And he is learning. I love that thing he said to her. He said, I don't converse well. You know, when she was playing the piano and he, she said to him, practice. He said, I don't converse well with people. So he's maybe, he has this, you know, I, I don't want to call it <laughs> ADHD, but maybe he has some sort of people who are uncomfortable. He's probably an introvert, right? He's probably an introvert. It's not his attention. It's it's that he just likes his circle small. And so um, he likes his circle small and he probably just wants to keep it that way, right? 
But this was such a confusing situation for both of them. I feel so bad that... Is that him? Stop it. I came to leave you this. Girl, are you serious? I will not attempt to convey the depth of Georgiana's despair. She was 15 years old. Oh my god! I just love him even more. My heart, my heart, oh my god. Yeah, Lydia's been invited to go to Brighton with the force. Just a sea bathing would set me up very nice. You, dear father, do not take the trouble to check her. She will be fixed forever as the silliest and most determined. Lizzie, dear, you'd be welcome to accompany us. The Peak District is not Brighton. I think we're quite close to Pemberley. Pemberley? Oh, yeah. Pemberley and Derbyshire. Oh. Are the hankering to see it? Oh, no, let's not. He said, let's not. <laughs> He's so... So what? He's so rich. <laughs> oh, the heavens is... <laughs> is that really his house? That castle we saw. Oh, Darcy. Wow. That story about Wickham, that just, that is the worst thing. We would not have come in some business with my steward. Yeah. Are you staying at Lambton? Yes, at the Rose and Crown. Yes. Food. They said that the house was open for visitors. I had, I had no idea. Goodbye, Mr. Darcy. You have better self-control than, than I do because I have kissed this man several times in the course of meeting him. Like I, I can't, I can't even, like I don't, I don't understand. I apparently I'm not built for this era because I will be flustered. Is that Darcy again? Please, what is going on? The heat. Oh my goodness, he came to see. Oh my goodness. Lizzie, we've just met Mr. Darcy. You didn't tell us that you'd seen him. Pleasant about his mouth when he speaks. <laughs> his mouth. There's something pleasant about his mouth. Woman, you still took the words right out of mouth. <laughs> Yes. That's his sister, right? Ge Georgina. The one that Wickham professed love to. I My sister, Miss Georgiana. My brother told me so much about you. Oh, I've been nice. friends already. Self most profoundly. <laughs> no, I said played quite well. Oh, quite well. He it's smiled. Well. I'm satisfied. Does he smiled? I hope so, yeah. Does he sitting standing? He doesn't know what to do. Oh my god. Who died? Lydia has run away. With Mr. Wickham. I will join Mr. Bennett and find Lydia before she ruins the family forever. Hey, this Wickham is terrible. My god. Is Lydia not the one that just left? The one who's always giggling? The one who threw her handkerchief into the soldier? Oh my god, this girl is just silly. Oh my goodness gracious me. I can't believe she did that. Why would she run away with a man? Her reputation. Oh, why did the Forsters let her out of their sight? Oh, oh Mr. Bennett will now have to fight the perfidious Wickham and then be... You can't do that. Don't such a baby. Kitty, give it to me. No. God knows how much your uncle must have laid on that wretched. No man in his senses would marry Lydia under so slight a temptation as a hundred a year. Thank our uncle, Mama. And so he should help. He's far richer than us and has no children. Lydia! You don't know on his own, my God. 
Oh, look at me. Disgust me. I'm sorry. Oh wow. The so father good, is girl. irritated. Oh my crazy. goodness. The uncle paid the money for the man. Every little deal Are you sure it's the uncle and not Mr. Yeah. Darcy? Uh, Can I come and stay with you? That was out of the question. Uh, he did come back or I would have had asked Mr. Darcy, but I don't really like Mr. Darcy. He paid for the wedding. Yes. Wickham's commission. Yes. Everything. Ooh. Don't tell anyone he told me not. You see what I was saying? You see what I said? I said that. Are you sure it was the uncle that paid or Darcy? Because both men left the house. And Darcy seemed certain because this same thing had happened to his sister in the past. The only difference is that he held his sister down and told Wickham that he would not get the 30,000 pounds that the sister was meant to inherit. So it seemed like he already knew where Darcy, where Wickham would take the girl or whatever. Maybe he knows where Wickham lives. I don't know how they found. But that's what the sister is just saying. That Wick, Wickham was the one who found. This girl is so, I don't want to use the word stupid, foolish. She's all of that put together. I know she's 15, but even she lacks propriety. Pi, propriety. This girl just lacks propriety. I am so upset with her because even at 15, she should know better. I don't know what she thought was going to happen if people found out that she was alone with a man. I can imagine that that would be the, the story. The, 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 her, her reputation would be ruined. That's what the mother was saying. It's not only her reputation. The, all of the sisters will find it difficult to marry men because they would... You know how society... It happens a lot in Nigeria. They'll look at you and say, oh, is that, isn't that the girl whose sister is a loose woman? Isn't that the girl whose sister was found in the hotel with a man? Don't. The mother has been raising daughters who are wayward. And that is what Darcy, quickly, that's why both of them left. Because it was by night time. Remember they were at the a diner or the you know, pub. Night time, the letter came to her. That same night, they left to go find this girl. So I don't know how long it took them to have the wedding. That's what the sister is now telling them that. Lydia is telling them that it was Darcy who paid for the wedding. It was Darcy who did all these things to quickly cover it up and probably bribed Wickham to marry this girl. Pay, but the girl is saying it like, oh, we can just, um, the girl is saying, oh, D Mr. Darcy just paid for our wedding. He you know he did so many things for us as a good friend to Wickham. But Lizzie knows what Darcy did indirectly. Darcy paid off Wickham to marry this girl. And he didn't want her to tell anybody because he knows as soon as, you know, he's probably that kind of person. He does good things and he doesn't want to be acknowledged for it. But he, He's, oh my goodness, he saved this whole family humiliation. Darcy saved them. Darcy, my honey. Yes, thank you. Get lost, get lost, get lost. Mr. Bingley is returning to Netherfield. Mr. Bingley? Mrs. Nichols is ordering a haunch of pork. Is it um, quite certain he's coming? Yes, madam. I believe he's alone. It's all right, Lizzie. I'm, I'm just glad he comes alone because then we shall see less of him. Do you know what I think it is? When when they were caught and everybody at the party probably saw Jane and him together. So thought they were heading down the marriage. And you know the mother was always talking. Oh, something engagement. They will be engaged very soon. So the whole city probably knew that. Oh my goodness. That's him and <laughs> that's the great. The whole city probably knew that they were about to be engaged. Or something like that. So when he disappeared and the engagement didn't take place. It was humiliation for Jane. You get what I mean? He's here. He's here. He's at the door. Oh. Mr. Bingley. Mr. Bingley? Mr. Darcy? The very insolence of it. What does he think of coming here? He's still here. And she hasn't told her sisters that Mr. Darcy proclaimed love, right? Lord, you should have a seizure. I'm sure I shall. Kissy. Mr. Darcy and Mr. Bingley, ma'am. <laughs> Look at the ribbons behind the pillow. <laughs> Very no. glad we are to see you, Mr. Bingley. There have been a great many changes since you went away. Mr. Wickham has been transferred to Newcastle, wherever that is. Here and shoot as many as you please. Thank you. Miss are you well, Mr. Darcy? Quite well, thank you. 
Well, we must be going, I think. What? Darcy? Would you have tea? It's been very pleasant to see What is wrong with Bingley? Bingley? Excuse me. <laughs> what is wrong with He's so nervous and he's so pretty. <laughs> it's a <laughs> oh, it's a disaster, isn't it? Um, it's been pretty down. Oh, um, this is so cute. Is he trying? Is he? Is Darcy trying to encourage him to propose or something? I think that he's trying to teach him how to make his affection known, to correct his mistake, because both both people they are like this. I know this is all very untoward. But I would like to request the privilege of speaking to Miss Bennet. Oh. First, I must I must tell you I have been the most unmitigated and comprehensive ass. Yes. A thousand times yes. That happened. <laughs> <laughs> Darcy fixed it, girl. He fixed it all. Oh, Lizzie, if I could but see you so happy, if there was such another man for you. I need to speak to Miss Elizabeth Bennet alone, as a matter what? of urgency. Yeah. A report of a most alarming nature has reached me, that you intend to be united with my nephew, Mr. Darcy. Who told you that? You may ask a question which I may choose not to answer. This is not to be born. Yes. Has my nephew made you an offer of marriage? You're None of your business. So, just ask you to leave immediately. Yes! Out of my house! Good night. That little Catherine is a beast. Is he really engaged to the daughter? She, she's Lizzie is smart. She said if that was the case, you would not be here. If truly Darcy is engaged to your daughter, why are you here? Why are you here to confirm anything? All you have to do is No, 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 no. That was too rude. I would never have even I would even tell her yes, we're engaged. Hopefully she'll get a stroke as soon as I say so and pass her. How dare you come to her house and tell Girl, don't even think of it. Don't think of it at all. He's engaged to who? To that? Oh my goodness me. That's why, you see what I was saying? That's why Lady Catherine was trying to embarrass her by saying, play the piano. Even even after the girl told you that I play poorly, please, that I'm not, I'm, I, I don't want to embarrass myself. She said, still play. I want you to play. Said talking about her inferior um, situation, having no governess or chaperone, having, you know, assistants that are unmarried. No, you know, she was just attacking her at that dining dinner table. It was too much. It was too much. Ah, ah. No, no, no. Don't treat people like that. And now you've come. I just wish Darcy can just, t you know, speak up about that whole engagement issue. And I doubt it. I, I'm sure she's lying. It was out of fear. Probably she wanted her nephew to marry her daughter. So he's trying to break up all alliances. Probably she has heard that Darcy does like her. You know what I mean? And it's coming now from... Are we dreaming to see Darcy or Darcy's really coming? Why is he dressed like that? Is he? My, my heart is racing. Is this a dream or it's real? It's a dream. It's a dream. It's a dream. Because his house is farther from your place. If your feelings are still what they were last April, tell me so at once. That one word from you will silence me forever. You have bewitched me, body and soul, and I love, and love, and love you. Oh my God. Let's go. My hands are cold. You don't know, Papa, if I told you what he was really like. What he's, what he's done. done. Yes, for your family. What he has done for your family. Don't let me cry. He and I are so similar. Yes. We're both, <laughs> We're both <proud>. so stubborn. <laughs> yeah. So, I heartily give my consent. And what shall I call you when I'm cross? 
Mrs. Darcy. Thank mm -hmm. you.